Hiya, back again. Um, we are going to learn a new skill today. So first of all, we're going to play a game to warm ourselves up. I want you to try and find the following types of things. I'm going to try and find two, and I've only got this room to find them in. And then bring them back, and we can show each other what we have found. So the first item I want you to go and find is something that you use to write with. Off you go. Oh. Um. Ah. I've got mine. Hopefully you're back by now. You might still be searching. What I found was one of my crazy pens because I use that to write with. So that's my first item. Okay. If you're back now, or maybe you pause me while you've got to find it, you will turn this back on again and see item number two. So the second thing, I want you to go and find something that you would wear on your head. Okay, off you go. Um... Okay, I've got mine. Are you ready? Police hat. Might not quite fit mine because it's more for children, but it's a police hat um, that I use with my children when we're doing certain acting scenes. Second thing. So the third thing I'd like you to do is go and find your favourite toy or something you like doing as a hobby in the house. Off you go. So, this is one of my favourite things to do, and I know some adults might want to do this while they're chilling out, so it is a colouring in book and pencils, so that's what I like to do to chill out, one of my little hobbies, so it's one of my favourite things. That's the third thing, so we're now on to the fourth thing. Fourth thing, I want you to go and find your favourite teddy, or superhero doll, or princess doll, and bring it back to me. Off you go. That one was easy because it was in my room. So this was something my son bought me for a Mother's Day. There it is. Uh, so that's why it's special to me. All right. And now I would like you to go and find something that is the shape of a square. Shape of a square. Okay. Off you go. Uh, um... Okay, so this is what I found. It's a coaster where I put my drinks on. I made it at one of those, um, I didn't make it, I painted it at one of those pottery places where you just do painting. So I painted it for my office. Um, so that is my square shaped thing. Excellent. Now I want you to find something that is a circle. Off you go. Okay, so I know it's not a circle straight away, but wait, bear with me. Ta da! It's a circle. So that's the next thing. Right, and the last one is I want you to go and find a book. Okay, off you go. Um, I could use that one. Yes. <sighs> right, have you found it? So, this is a massive one. It's my Shakespeare book. So, loads of Shakespeare plays in here. Pretty big. Had it since I was a teenager. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Okay, so today's skill that we are going to do is... We are going to create a character. Well, hopefully two characters by the time I finish with you. So, to do so, you are going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. So, if you can go and grab that now, and then sit in front of the phone or TV or tablet or whatever you're watching this on. And on that piece of paper, I want you to draw this shape. A bit like a gingerbread man, because you are going to create a character. 
all right? And you're gonna write the information or draw the information on this character, and you can color in a costume as well later on as well. So, first task with your pen and paper is to draw the shape onto your piece of paper. Um, when we finish creating the actual characters, you can color in your character um, with what you think it would wear when we've created it, okay? So that's the first task, all right? You might need to pause me while you do that, which is fair enough, but I will carry on as though you've unpaused me again. I'm now gonna ask you some questions that you're gonna have to write down. You can ask an adult to help you, or you can draw it onto your piece of paper. So every character, this is a made up character, it's a person that you are gonna make up. They can be found in books and plays and films and everyday life. You're gonna make up a character. Okay, and the first thing I want you to give it is a name. So you've got to give your character a name. So think about what could your character be called? One second. So my character is going to be called Alice. All right, so write down the name. Don't worry about spellings or anything like that. I just want you to use your imagination and create a character name. When you've done that, I'm gonna ask you question number two, and that is, how old is your character? Okay, how old is your character? All right, so I'm making my character five. All right, so how old are you gonna make your characters? You could have an elderly character, you could have a character that's a similar age as your parents, you could have a character that's a similar age to you, totally your choice okay then you've got to do one last thing okay one last thing for me on this little bit and that is you need to give your character a job okay or if they're too young to work you need to tell me what they do on a day-to-day -day basis so my character we know is called Alice and she's five years old and she is still a school child so that is my job stroke day activity, all right? So you should now have on your piece of paper your gingerbread character, and you should have the name, age, and what their job or day activity is, all right? Okay, the final thing that you need to add on your piece of paper is the problem, all right? And the problem, the problem that your character has. So, my character has lost homework. So they've lost their homework, all right? So that is a problem, something that has to be happening in that character's life. So you know my character's school age, they've lost their homework, all right? Brilliant. When you've got that all together, we're gonna to go on to the next part, which is bringing that character to life. So I'm gonna do a little improvisation as my character, okay? And I'm gonna show you the situation where I've lost my homework, all right? So just bear with me a second while I get some props and things together. Coming back. Okay, we're gonna do a little improvisation. So, three, two, one, action. Miss, I haven't got my homework. Um, I left it at home. I'm sorry. Sorry, miss. And freeze. Well done. Next character. So, your second one, you can do exactly the same. So you start off, first of all, draw another one of these. Okay. And then you are going to give your character a name. So my second character is called 
Joanna. All right. And my character's age is 20. And my character's job, she's a nurse. All right. And finally, my character's problem is she has lost her keys. Okay, she's lost her car keys. And it's quite important she needs her car keys. You'll see in a minute why. So while you're doing a bit of the second character, I'm going to get myself ready to show you my improvisation. Coming back, don't worry. Got to make sure I'm wearing the right stuff. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, action. Right, I'll see you later, I'm just off to work. Hmm. That's in here somewhere. John, have you seen my keys? I've lost my car keys. I need to get to work. Oh, I'm gonna have to get the bus. Okay, so that was my two little improvisations based on the character. Now, what I'd like you to do is take your two characters you've got, make sure you've coloured them in. So obviously my first character would have a school uniform on and uh, maybe school shoes and tie, etc. And my second character, I would colour in and I would have a nurse's uniform on, all right? And then I could write the information on the back as well. So... What I would like you to do is finish your characters and then I would like you to do a little improvisation showing me what your character problem is. And again, get your parents to send me the pictures of your character drawings or your little improvisations of what you've done as well. Thanks very much, guys. See you again soon.